If you've bought a high-end gaming PC or laptop in the last two years and it started getting slower over time, then there are probably a few culprits causing that. In this video, I'll be talking about the top five reasons in no particular order why your device is getting slower with time. Before getting started, I want to emphasize that these are not the only causes, but they are the most common and the easiest to diagnose before taking your device to a shop to get it checked by a professional. Number one, your main disk or C drive getting full. So modern day SSDs are extremely fast and it's most noticeable when starting up your device. However, when they reach 80% or more of the available disk space, they tend to get significantly slower. The top two causes for this would be games and downloads, which by default are set to the C drive. Start off by moving the games and downloads to a secondary drive to free up some space and then deleting your temporary files and cache, which could also take a big amount of your storage. Number two is running out of RAM. Now this might not be as noticeable during normal usage such as browsing or playing light games, however when multitasking like having multiple browsers open or even running discord with a game, things can quickly change. The PC will run normally until it runs out of RAM which will instantly cause it to freeze up and become much slower than normal. Almost unusable I would say. To check if you're running out of RAM, simply open the task manager and check the memory tab. 16 gigs is what I'd consider the least acceptable and 32 is highly recommended due to modern games and applications needing much more RAM than before. Number 3 is high CPU temperature. This too is not instantly noticeable but will definitely show signs over time. The temperature difference between a CPU at idle and under load can be very drastic. If your CPU reaches 90 degrees Celsius or more, it will throttle down to keep the temperatures as low as possible. To check your CPU temperature, you can download many applications from the internet. The one I recommend would be hardware monitor, but you're free to use whichever you prefer. The main causes can be too much dust accumulated on your CPU cooler or in the case of using an AIO, a failed pump or radiator fan are the most common. Additionally, a bad CPU fan curve could also cause this issue due to the fans not ramping up as the CPU temperature increases, so check that just to confirm. Now in order to tell that your pump has failed in the case of an AIO, you can simply start by checking the fans and the curve and if both look to seem fine, then it's most likely going to be the pump, in which case you will need to replace the entire cooler. Number 4 is malware or software bugs. This is also a very common cause of your PC slowing down and it's one of the more difficult ones to figure out. One of the easiest ways to spot it is by opening the task manager and looking for an application that is utilizing a big portion of your CPU, especially at idle. Average CPU usage while browsing should not exceed 25%, but that number heavily depends on the CPU model that you're running. Either way, the PC should only feel slow when it reaches 90% or more of your CPU utilization, especially if you're doing medium to light work on it, in that instance you should be able to figure out which specific app is taking a toll on your PC by having a look at the task manager. Number 5 is going to be outdated drivers and antivirus programs. Now this last point covers two completely different issues, as they are less common and the easiest to spot. I recommend you check your hardware's manufacturer's website for driver updates at least four times a year just to be safe, however when it comes to Windows updates these should be regularly performed because they are very easy to manage. As for antivirus software, things can get a bit more complicated. Even though they are good for keeping your device protected, some of them can be very resource intensive, slowing down your PC during scans or updates, and sometimes completely clashing with specific games that you're running. If you had doubts about your antivirus software causing problems for you, I recommend you do a quick Google search just to check how everyone else is faring when it comes to that same application. So these are my top 5 choices to start with, but as previously mentioned, it can also be other things amongst them. If none of the above solutions worked out for you, I recommend you take your PC to a professional to get it checked out to avoid causing any damage just to be safe. Share your thoughts and experiences down below in the comment section and leave a like if this was helpful. I'll catch you on the next one.